Hey YouTube family, hope you're doing well. As you can see, we are home this weekend, which is a very rare occasion, but we thought this would be the perfect time to give you a full breakdown and van tour of our brand new Pleasure Way Ascent. Come on and we're gonna show you on inside. Hey, what's up? We're the Rainmaker family and we don't have Kai with us. He's inside taking a nap. But this channel, it's all about this camper van. It's about adventure and it's about helping you create alternative sources of income for your family. So we're going to start in the front of the cab here and then work our way to the back. And we'll make sure to share with you all the really important features and stay tuned for our really comfy bed that we love sleeping in. So the first thing we noticed about our van was these extremely comfortable captain chairs. We have the 2021 Pleasure Way Ascent, which is actually built on the 2019 Mercedes Sprinter van. What would you like to do? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Stop. We said Mercedes, so the car responds. It's kind of like Siri. So when you say, hey, Mercedes, the van's like, what? When we were looking at these vans, they're mainly built on two chassis. Like you got the Mercedes and then you got the Ram. There's a there's a couple others, but that's like the two main ones. And as soon as we went to a dealership, they were like, you have to get a Mercedes because I'm actually really tall. You might not be able to tell in videos, but I'm like 6'4", maybe 6'5", with these shoes on. And so they were like, you can't fit in the Ram, which I didn't know about. So that really narrowed down our options to the vans that were built on this Mercedes platform. And this is a key deciding factor that no one's really talking about online. If you're tall, you're gonna wanna go with the Mercedes. And you can see I got ample room here. Another cool thing with these new redesigned captain chairs, they have this little guy right here. It extends just like that. And it's nice and dirty in there from our last trip. But if you're really tall, this is just such a nice, like it just feels like you have your legs reclined on the recliner and it just supports your legs. And it's great for that long-term driving. As Steven mentioned, he's really tall, but I'm really short. So what we love about this van is these memory position buttons that you can press to have your seat aligned to the perfect seat position for specifically you. Everything else in the cab is pretty standard. You got your standard seat warmers, things like that. But another cool feature of this car is they have upgraded safety features. So you have some lane keep assist features as well as you have active braking. So if you're about to like rear end someone, this van will actually brake for you, which we have in our other car. And it's kicked in a couple times and actually really helped out. You also get the redesigned dashboard here, which just looks so nice and high-end luxury. You got everything you need to do here. It's all right on this menu. It also has CarPlay built right into it. So we actually have that hooked up right up here. You plug this into your phone and you got CarPlay good to go. There's even a wireless phone charger up there. So you can lay your phone in there. If it has wireless charging, it'll charge. And you got basically all your phone station up there. You can close it in away, but we keep the cords right here. And then we stick our phones in these little guys right there. And as far as the key goes, there's actually a little spot down there that the little hole that you stick it into and it charges your key fob so that you never have to replace the battery. All right, you guys ready to go to the back? This is the fun stuff back here. So first up, we're gonna give you a little tour of our bathroom. So here we are in our bathroom. This was a huge selling point for us to get a van. We love traveling a lot. It's nice to not have to find a rest stop or like a store or something that's open. So here is our bathroom, obviously toilet. We've got all of our stuff up here. Here is our little shower caddy. This shower is actually really awesome. I am 5'3", so I can actually stand on here and just have this right here, the, the water head shooting at me and stand and take a shower where Steven usually will sit down. Okay, just for perspective, uh, I am probably 6'5", with these shoes on. And I'm also standing on top of probably an inch mat down there. And I can almost fully stand up in the bathroom. This is actually like it's pretty spacious in here. If you can go in an airplane bathroom, that's pretty similar to this. I actually do have decent elbow room. And I love that this door actually curves. I don't know if you guys see the curvature on the door there. Uh, it actually curves, which gives you just a little bit more leg room and uh, elbow room. Then it has your curtain right here, which got it, it slides across, has Velcro, and just so it keeps nice and watertight. And the thing I love about this van is it has a water heater that keeps water hot all the time. This means you're not gonna waste any water waiting for it to get hot. 
All right, if you look up, there's a little whole house fan there. We'll show you how that works. And when you're taking a shower, it takes all the steam and shoots it right out the top of the vehicle. And as far as the shower goes, this is one of the features we honestly didn't think we were gonna be using that much, but we went camping last weekend. And to have the shower option and to be able to shower any like dirtiness or sweat or anything that you had was actually really refreshing. And I know that we're gonna be using this feature a lot more. Okay, Chelsea left Kaizen. We heard him crying on the monitor. Quick shout out to Manit. That's the camera we use. And uh, there she is, she's picking him up. He's so cute. We love this monitor because it goes right to your phone. It has a mode that actually plays the sound all the time. And you can even have your phone like the screen off so it doesn't kill your battery. Um, but it also reads the temperature in the room. It detects motion. It does a lot of cool stuff that we really like so we can be, you know, out in the pool or around the house or even at night. We use it all the time to have in Kai's room and make sure he's taken care of. Say hi, Dada. Hi, Zen. Say hi. Look who's Good up. morning. Hi. hi. I love you, buddy. Do you have a good nap? <laughs> okay, now I talked about the fan. This is the control panel, and there's also one back in the back of the van right here. This is where you're gonna open up that fan. So you hit this little gear icon, and then boom. That fan, definitely necessary in a camper van. When we were out in the Redwoods, we just opened that guy and you could feel this nice breeze coming through. You could actually even see the stars through there. It was super awesome. Also on this control panel, you got your awning, which is outside. You also have your sofa bed. You can retract and extend it. So if I hit retract, that's what turns that couch back in the back into a queen size bed. This is also your go-to spot for all your lighting systems. So you got all these different light controls reading lights, sofa valiance, living area, awning. And if you actually hold these, this is so nice, you can dim these up and down. So when it's nighttime, we're putting Kai to bed and we want just like a tiny bit of light in here, that is such a handy feature to have. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but these lights are bright in here. When you turn on all the lights, it's like daylight in here, it's amazing. Going over from there, you got your home screen here, and this looks a little clunky at first, but you get used to it really fast. You have all your levels, so you get your fresh water tank, your gray water, your black water, and this is your propane. We got about 50% left. You have a generator built into this, this bad boy, so I could start the generator there if I need extra power. You also have your AC and your heating control on the left-hand side there, and then you have some quick shortcuts of some lighting right at the top. Lastly, you got your battery readings right there just to make sure you can stay topped off and good to go. Up from the control panel, you got your inverter right here. And then you have your water heater, which keeps the water warm all the time. Welcome to our kitchen, the heart of the home. Here we have this amazing two burner stove right here. We've got this really awesome deep sink that we absolutely love. There's some storage things in there right now with this handy dandy um, sink faucet. This space right here also makes it great for um, doing extra kitchen space or chopping. Then right on over here, we have this microwave, which I love. I don't know about you, but I warm up my coffee like three or four times a day, so it's super handy to have this. And then right on over here is this refrigerator, which it feels super roomy and it can carry everything that we would need. This Dometic fridge is awesome. It has this automatic mode, which is kind of like a smart mode that changes between the preferred power. So whether you need to be on battery, whether you need to be on propane, or you're plugged into the wall, it's gonna automatically switch for you so you don't have to worry about it. And as far as storage goes, there are three pull-out drawers that we have a mix of utensils as well as kind of like a mini pantry. There is an outlet right there. And one nice touch about these is they're actually, we got some wine in there, they're actually soft clothes. Look at that. And then right here is this big storage container underneath the sink that is massive. We have our coffee container, pots and pans, a little mini garbage. There's so much space in here, you guys. Now in this season of life, we have a stroller kind of strapped in right there. It actually fits really nicely in the curve of the chair. And these captain chairs are awesome because they both swivel and then you can use this extra cutting board space as a little workstation. Before we move to the back and show you the amazingly comfortable bed, I'll just talk about a couple last cool features that I appreciate. There's a ton of overhead storage right here. These sections are huge. I've definitely seen some people do some stuff with this headroom up here. Um, you also have uh, these guys, like, I don't know what you call these, insect nets. You have them on the side and the back, 
We keep the back one down so you can always have the doors open. You're not worried about mosquitoes and stuff flying in. You also have vents down here so you can open up the windows. And all these have these super nice uh, Valiant shades. They come down, they are magnetized, so they stick right to the metal. And that's so great for blocking out light at nighttime. I also wanna to talk to you guys about storage for our family of three. Now, before we decided on the Pleasure Way, we did tour several vans and we were surprised at how much extra storage space this particular van has. So first up in this storage space that you could use, I guess, for kitchen stuff if you wanted to. Right now it's empty because like I said, we're not on the road, but this is a good amount of space right here. Oftentimes we put toiletries, um, and there, this spot right over here for is designated for Steven and I. We fit two large bags for us. We might eventually get some baskets to put in there with clothes and stuff, uh, but it's a great space. And this is probably the biggest space back here. As you can see, it has our bedding in it, which is a big duvet, queen size comforter, two pillows, some sheets, and then Kai's little pop out tent thing that he sleeps in. And this space, it goes super far back. And then this spot right on over here, we have designated to Kai's area. This is just a basket that we keep with his storage stuff with diapers and toys and books. Up here in the top right hand corner, we have all of the electronic stuff as well as our WeBoost cell phone booster because we do a lot of work on the road. So this is where all of that fun electronic stuff goes. And right now I am sitting in the back. These leather seats are so soft and comfortable and we don't have our little table up, but we're gonna show you how we install that right now. All right, this is a classic lagoon table. You see these in tons of vans and it's such a versatile system. I love how it mounts. It's just this ratchet mount system that's super reliable. So basically just take that off, slide it on the bracket right here to your desired height, lock it down, and then stick this guy on just like this. We love this table because it does swivel out of the way, which is super nice. So you can swivel it either way. Uh, I might have it too high, but that's perfect. We usually keep it just like this, or we keep it off in the front. But this is so handy. When I'm back here working, I'm strapped in next to Kai. I got my laptop here. I can adjust the height. I can even still stick my feet up on the couch right here, which is so comfy. Right behind me, you see we put actually a little um, marine mirror. This thing has a heavy duty suction cup, and that way we can see Kai from the front, see what he's up to, keep an eye on him, because it does feel like he's way far back here. Typically, I'm gonna sit back here next to him, but sometimes I'm up in front, so this way he uh, stays safe. One thing we learned about these RVs is the seatbelts back here aren't like the standard ratchet style where you pull them and then they can ratchet back. So for a car seat, you're gonna need one of these guys. This is a car seat mount, and what it does is it takes the seatbelt, straps it in, and then you can hook the car seat into that. Now, one thing that's a little funky you may notice about this is we have these boards right here. The reason is these seats are so plush. They're like memory foam, because this is the bed you're sleeping on. So when we put his car seat in here, we are ratcheting it down super tight, and the bubble level actually wasn't in the right spot. So I put these boards on here just to give it a little bit more solid of a base so Kai can stay nice and safe. And now we're gonna show you one of the best features about this Sprinter van. As you can see, Steven is already hanging out in the back there. We're gonna show you how to make the bed. Okay, so you recognize these boards from Kai's car seat. They actually came with the van. They live behind the driver's seat. You lift up the cushion, they fit right here, and then you take the side cushions and you stick them right here in the middle. Then we're just gonna hit this button right here and retract the couch. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What was that? I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to finish the video. Okay. So what you might not realize is this bed size is actually close to a queen size bed. And some people will lay this way with their feet and head across, but we actually lay with our heads towards the back and our feet right up over here. And as you can see, there is a ton of extra storage space under here. So Steven and I will actually shove extra things down here. So there's a clear walkway to the bathroom in case you need to use it in the middle of the night. A personal favorite feature of mine are these suede walls. Uh, they are so soft. So in the middle of the night when you roll over, if you touch this wall, it's like, Ah, oh, suede. There it goes. Couple of hidden features. You got two outlets here and two USB slots as well. 
so we're charging Kai's little sound machine. You also have the same over here. Last but not least, on the interior side of the van is this TV right here with the Bose sound system. Now you could totally recline the bed or leave it up and watch your favorite movie or a show while you're camping if you want. This is one thing we didn't have in our RV Essentials video that has been awesome and so essential. It's a fan. It's got an amazing big clip on there. It's also got a hook on the bottom. It plugs in, but it also has a battery inside so you can run it without plugging it in. Here's another little hack we found. This is called the ledge. It's an auto cup holder and there's no cup holders back here. And we had this little ghetto <laughs> drink tray for a while, but check this out, boom fits right there. This van also has an awesome retractable awning, so in case it gets super windy outside, it will automatically come back in and it won't break. On the back side of the van is this awesome bug net that we always keep zipped so that when we have the doors open, mosquitoes and stuff like that aren't going to fly in. And then under here is this Velcro piece that you just lift up and it creates this extra storage space that we have a lot of random gear in. This van also has two net pockets back here, so a lot of extra storage. And then like Chelsea said, down here we have extra storage. This is a little crazy because we just got back from a trip. You got a little power inflator here, a hose, you got power cords, we got our hammock, and underneath here you got your sprinter window cover. So this covers the front window and the side windows, so at night it's nice and dark. One last thing we added was this really handy hitch mount step. It was only about $60 off Amazon, super solid, and you can stand up here to reach nice and high up on the van. So in here is where you have your propane on and off. You got your city water, cable TV if you wanna hook up, and a 30 amp power hook in. Inside right here is a vent for the fridge. Here you got your Truma water heater, you got the on and off for that, and you also have your fridge vent right on top. Lastly, you got an outdoor shower right here, hot and cold water with an extendable hose so you can rinse off your feet or even take a shower outdoors. On the driver's side also is where you have the diesel hookup. So when you're filling up, it's right there. One last thing we forgot to show you is Kaizen's bed. He actually sleeps in the front right here. We got the Pleasure Way inflatable bed. The inflatable bed actually fills in this gap like a T. It inflates about six inches above the chairs. And it's actually yeah. super comfy. What do you think, Kaizen? Pretty sweet? Yeah. Underneath here, there's actually some secret storage right here. And that's where we keep the pump for that inflatable. And then the inflatable just lives right behind the driver's seat. It doesn't take up that much space at all. Thank you so much for watching. We're the Rainmaker family. We'll see you next time. And if you want to see the video of us picking up this van in San Diego, then road tripping home, that's on the right hand side. If you want to see the video all about how we got this van for free, that's on the left hand side. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.